Hi all, welcome to another Dave Downey Fly Tying video production on this wet and windy Sunday once again in Scotland really don't know when this weather's going to break and give everybody a chance to get out and actually fish and fish the flies that you've been tying and watching on my channel so hopefully I'm keeping you entertained on these miserable days uh, and you're going to get at some point hopefully to get to use these patterns that I've been tying so the patterns that I've been tying are basically flies that I use they're flies that catch fish not just the angler and you know and I've got wee tips and techniques that, that help you uh, tie them make it easier to tie them so at the end of each of these videos you know I always put a list of materials required to tie the flies just in case you missed it during the video and also a link to the online shop that I run and I have been running for 20 years uh, where you can purchase either the flies uh, and other materials to tie the flies or you can buy both if you like uh, so I hope you enjoy the videos and I really do hope it's giving you something to do while this weather's not allowing anybody to really get out to do anything uh, so pass the word on about the channel get your mates to subscribe get your fishing angler mates your buddies and your clubs just let them know let them come and have a look. If they like it, they can subscribe. If they don't, they don't have to. So today, I'm going to be tying some simple flies. The first one I'm going to tie is basically just a dial back. So what we need for that is I'm using Uni Thread Fire Orange. Right? So that's the Fire Orange AO. That's what we're going to use to tie the fly. We need some Red Game Cock Hackle Fibers. So going to need that for basically the, the, the tail of the fly and the thorax. We're going to, I'm using fully mill heavyweight champ hooks on a size 10 and a 12. They're really really good hooks, they're really strong. Uh, barbless, I don't really like the black ones but some people prefer to use black. I prefer to use bronze hooks to be quite honest. We're going to be using some dubbing for the thorax. As you can see it's a beautiful dubbing. It's almost like mosaic, but it's Cybia Fire Vesteria, light bright. I've been using this for quite a while, and using it on my river nymphs as well. It's really, really good stuff. Uh, and we're also going to use a stripped peacock quill. So we're using the eyepiece, you can see it there. So we're going to use the eyepieces, but I've already pre-stripped it, and I've been, I have used a, it's not a, an actual Stadler rubber, but it's similar. And that's the best way I find of stripping these things. I've tried it with the, 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 the leg removing hair wax and all that and tried all these things and it just ends up making the, the actual f uh, quill. I find it makes the quill go brittle. So that's why I just like to do it the old way. It's a wee bit longer. But you know, you can get a, a better result I think. So I've already pre-stripped this one. So all, all you're doing when you're stripping it is take the take take the one one off right so you just take one of these off pull it off and then what you want to do is wet it between either a uh, tissue with uh, warm water and maybe soap but a uh, fairy liquid or something or I, what I do is just put it in my mouth run it through my mouth and then I'll, 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 I'll just strip it you know make it wet damp it uh, and then just strip it off and if you're struggling you can just grab it with your, your two nails and gently pull and it will take all the wee excess bits off so let's get the fly started so as I says I'm using the fire orange thread again so I'm just going to run the thread down the shank the good thing about these hooks is they're really really strong the grab gapes I'm not so keen on I think they're a bit too light in the wire for this type of fly because usually when you get a buzzer take you know, or a dial back the fish are quite violent so we're taking a good bunch of red game, red game or ginger, doesn't have to be a genetic, I'm just using you know a, a cheapish one, uh, just a Chinese one, but it doesn't really matter because you're, you're not really there for movement, you know, like in the humongous fly, whereas you're looking for movement of the hackle, so you want it as soft as possible. So we'll just run the thread back up, you don't have to bother with touching turns, back up to the eye and then back down again. We do need one other material for this fly. Uh, I'll just grab it. Right. 
we are going to need we do need Mirage right large Opal on a size 10 I'll use large on, on a 12 and below I'll obviously use uh, medium so I'm just going to cut off that little bit at the end and tie in the strip coil I see I've already pre-stripped this using a rubber so let's go forward now I don't want to go too far forward what we also want to do is put a bit of varnish on the, the thread before we start putting the quill on a wee bit of varnish on okay then when we're putting the quill on we don't want it to be completely touching right we don't want it to be touching turns we want a wee gap because I, I do like the orange coming through right so if you're not happy with it just gently remove it off back on again then just keep going forward Right. I don't really need any more than that. Now, obviously you can take it back on and off and you can do what you want with it. I'm quite happy with that. Now I'm just going to tie it off. And then just pull it away. So the next thing we want is a wee bit of Mirage. Now you could use the UV one as well, it's not a problem. UV one's obviously going to give you a different colouring on the background. So just catch that in, tie it off, then back. Right, just go back so it's touching just on that last turner uh, peacock. Just move that out of the way. Right, so we're going to get a wee bit of bit of wax on the thread, bit of wax there, bit of wax here, bit of wax everywhere and then just get some fire bisteria. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not 100% sure but get that on there. So we're just going to wind that forward and it's almost it's almost, dare I say it, like the original mosaic stuff that used to be available. So we've got our thorax in, right? Now, what I want to do, I want to put the beard tack on first, rather than putting the thorax cover over. Reason being, I prefer it that way. So, I'm just going to set that there. Sometimes I'll turn the hook upside down, but what a wee pinching loop here. And just catch it in. Right, have a wee look at it. Right, happy with that. Just cut the excess off. You can have a, a thicker beard if you want, but sometimes you want to fly a wee bit thinner. Just make sure the fibres are pointing in the right direction. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to pull it over the back but what I like to do, catch it in and it's the same with the buzzers if you've watched my other videos I like to go forward and then what I'll do is I'll pull the thorax cover backwards and then tie it off from there So that's me finished the fly so what I'm going to do is what finish Now one thing I would I, I, I will say is if you want these flies to last a lot longer and just because I'm doing the video and it'll take time normally what I would do is tie the fly to do the peacock strip quill do that up and then quick finish it and then I would varnish that part of the body so it's going to be a lot stronger all we want to do now is just trim that bit off and push it back And then we're just going to varnish the rest of the, fly, the the head of the fly, and that's it really. I mean, it's a pretty simple fly, but it's got all the right ingredients. Looks like a buzzer, has the orange head, has a bit of orange coming through the body, and for me, that's what I'm looking for. Obviously, you can use 
different materials. Uh, some people are going to say, oh, it's not a proper dial back because it's not tied to peacock herald, but it's actually tied to peacock herald. You just take the herald off. So, yeah, doesn't really matter, to be honest. <coughs> and then just use a bit of wire to clean the eye out. Obviously, that's going to get another coat of va you know varnish on the head. But you can see how the head's nice and shiny. So, really, I would varnish the body as well. I don't really like that little, you can see that little lump of posterior sitting there. Just trim that off. But yeah, normally I would have this part all varnished in here. So I would varnish that first, then do the thoraxes. So I would sit and do maybe half a dozen flies uh, and, then, and then finish them off with the, the thorax and thorax cover. So I hope you really enjoyed that. I know it's a miserable day, I keep saying it, but the weather's got to break at some point and let us get out fishing. Trout season's about to start in Scotland. Two weeks. We're, we're on it. 15th of March. Hope you're all looking forward to it. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook, David C. Downey. You can follow me on Instagram, Dave Downey Fly Fishing. Or you can check out my websites. I've got a guiding site, which is www.davedowneyfishing.com and I've got my online shop, uh, www.fly-fishingworld.com.